Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Sohini from South Bay, California and I welcome you today. So this is the second episode in the, in the sequence that is machine learning monitoring for production. And in the last episode, we did look at the use of weights and biases on uh, a medical imaging uh, you know, code base. But today we are going to start looking at more industrial grade monitoring systems, namely Grafana Cloud. And we will be using the Prometheus Gateway in order to interface with Grafana Cloud. Now, most of the existing companies uh, who use DevOps, uh, so Prometheus and Grafana are pretty well understood and pretty well regarded, uh, you know, softwares and systems in which you can really see the, you know, very timely outputs and the graphs are, are pretty well built. So what we will be doing today is, first off, we are going to be using a local version of you know, Python that is uh, installed in your computer. And then I will be releasing this code uh, along with this video. And in that code, you will be able to then use this ML monitor, which then uh, you know, uses a Docker image in order to you know, bring your, your Grafana and the Prometheus conversations up. And then if you have that ML monitor thread running, it is like a listening port. And what it will be doing is it will be listening to your machine learning algorithm, which I'll be showing in, in terms of a Jupyter Python uh, you know, notebook. And what you will be seeing is this ML monitor is constantly listening uh, at, the, at the Jupyter notebook in order to you know, look for metrics that you are sending to the Grafana cloud. And I will be showing you how to uh, incorporate these uh, you know, metrics into graphs, and you will be finally able to see a composite graph. Uh, again, the, today's version, you will be seeing that it is actually a local host, but there are also ways to send it to the Grafana cloud itself, or even to expose it as an external URL um, you know, through some, some domain name. So today's experiment or today's episode is just to keep things local, to have a local version of Grafana running, so that you can have you know, a dockerized version and use the Prometheus gateways in order to send machine learning metrics in, in, you know, into the, the cloud. The example that we will be seeing today is one of the UCI data sets. And let's get straight into how to use the Grafana cloud in order for doing statistical machine learning. The first step will be to clone this uh, repository that I've made. And again, I wanted to cite the source, which is this repository is actually heavily based on of this other ML monitoring, um, you know, GitHub. But in this case, this, this GitHub actually looked at just, you know, sending a value. There was no real machine learning model in this case. So that's the reason why I want to mention that this is the source. But now in this case, you will actually see uh, uh, an extension, which is this ML monitoring with Grafana, where we actually build a machine learning learning a model and then monitoring it, it after that. So you will see as soon as the monitoring starts, you will have thread logs such as this. All right. So with that out of the way, uh, I'll tell you the requirements. So we definitely need Python greater than 3.6. And this is actually working for a local version. So this does not support Colab at the moment. So what you'd like to do is, first of all, clone uh, this whole, uh, you know, repository and then once uh, you know this is a clone then you just do pip install dot and all of the setup is actually given here so it will automatically set everything up and then you need to set up docker so if you don't have docker on your on your computer you might actually need to install uh, and and you know run these commands that will you know install first of all docker and then get it up up and running now the docker is exactly what is going to house all of this uh, you know grafana the dashboard and everything within it and then in order to open the the ml monitor sensing port at at 9090 these are the three commands that and again you will see this in the video as i show you exactly how to you know go go through it so all these steps three to six you will actually see in the video but the installation process is actually just the you know top three over here so now let's get started So now that we have installed the the Docker and the Docker is the only component that you need in order to you know utilize the Grafana and the Prometheus uh, gateways. So now that uh, you know you have everything installed, I will show you how to work it, especially for the IPython notebook which is pre present in this uh, GitHub, which is called the ML Monitoring Grafana. So I'm going to show you how to use that and how to create your own production pipeline dashboards. So for this task. 
task, what we will do is, so this is the folder that I'm in. What I'll be doing is I am going to be creating three different terminals. So again, I'm working in an Ubuntu system. I will create three different terminals because these are the three terminals I'm going to invoke. And um, so now there are three different terminals that I have uh, you know, started here. So in the first one, what I'm going to do is invoke the Docker container you know, that, is, uh, that has the, the Grafana dashboards inside. So what I will do is I'd say CD Docker. So go inside the Docker folder. And now the command is sudo docker compose up. And this is going to ask for your password. And as soon as you do that, it's starting the, the Prometheus gateway and you see the gateway is now ready. So this terminal is only preparing your Prometheus gateway. And I'll show you what that looks like. Let's start the other uh, functionalities as well. In the second one, what we are going to be doing is we are going to open Jupyter Notebook because that is the notebook in which we will be, um, you know, passing the, the terms, um, you know, this is a Boston housing prices uh, data set. And so in, in this case, you'd, you've seen, uh, you know, that I have invoked this uh, ML monitor, um, you know, this whole software that has been downloaded. And then and the normalized RMSC is what I am sending to be monitored. So this is the you know, Jupyter notebook. And for the third one, uh, the, the, the third terminal, here, you're going to say Python. And inside Python, you will import the ML monitor. And once that's there, we are going to say mlmonitor.control.start. So this is the command that is going to now start sensing. So it, it, it puts this uh, sensor or sniffer, if you may, uh, that's called the mon mlmonitor.logging so that whatever is, is now coming from your um, you know, IPython notebook, uh, which is you know, being pushed by this uh, term called uh, um, you know, RNMSC, that will now be detected. So now what I do is we will just say restart and run. And as you do, um, you will now see that right now the, the monitor is, is uh, getting trained. So the model is getting trained, but the, the mon ML monitoring the, the thread or the logging thread will get initialized right here. As soon as you initialize it, MI monitor is ML monitor dot monitor. So as soon as that happens, then it's going to start sending, uh, you know, the, the values. So now it has you know, started logging. As soon as it says that, now you need to go to localhost. 3000 and this is your dashboard of interest so now you go to home and you say new dashboard and you say choose visualization so first of all you'll have to pick a metric so in this case i'm calling it n rmse right so this is the n rmse and uh, for the visualization i'm going to say bars give me points and um, also what i can do is i can say you know give me min max average current values set as table to the right right so here, what you will now see is if you make this large, you'll now see that the values are, you know, starting to log. And as long as this is, is going to continue, so as long as you have the star value here, you will see that, you know, this, uh, you know, monitor, it, it keeps on running. So, and then you can also add other panels to this. So let's say that, you know, this is definitely one panel, but you want to add more to it. So. Um, you can actually add panel and again, choose a visualization. And in this case, let's say that the metric I want to, uh, you know, push is if I just say the failure time, right? And in this case, uh, again, this is a, this is a time interval one. So as soon as I say, that's it. So now you see there are two different, uh, you know, panels that have been created. Again, you can switch to them. You can see what values are, are, uh, are going on in here. Uh, this is the, you know, mean squared error uh, that is going on getting, uh, you know, logged in this case. Now you're beginning to see the values change, right? See? So initially you had different values, but now you can see that the values are getting created. So this is essentially how you uh, monitor things in, uh, in the Grafana. And uh, you can add many more metrics and then it'll, it'll keep running so that you know if, if anything was, uh, you know, out of order. So now you see that things have become fixed. And this is probably because, you know, it is that means it, it's, it's a stable build. But if the values are changing too much, you know that the, the values are um, sort of uh, off. So. Mm -hmm.